So before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you that I am still doing my Kickstarter. I have 11 days left now, I think. It might say 12, but it's actually like 11 by the time it finishes. Basically, it's a pre-order for my first ever piece of merch, which is going to be a hard enamel pin of my little shrimp logo. I would love it if you go and support me over there. Order yourself a pin. I just would feel highly appreciative. I've ordered my backing cards, my thank you cards, all of the stuff that I need to be packaging. I just need the pins and I need the pre-orders to be able to make them. So yeah, hopefully you can join me on that I'll leave all of the links and stuff like that down in the description so you could just click through and have a little look it will mean the world to me anyway yeah that's all I just got to say just before I started thank you to anyone who has already pre-ordered honestly it means the world I feel so happy I can't believe it I'm finally doing it and yeah I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shut up now Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a memory foam squishy DIY for you. I haven't done one of these in a little while and I've missed them. So I'm gonna be bringing them back quite regularly just because I love sitting down, shaping out some foam in the evening with the movie on. It's just so relaxing and it's just what I like to do. So I figured I may as well film it and share it with you guys just in case you're in the market for making some squishies as well. It's just something I love to do to relax. Like I know some people love to color, some people love to do other crafts and that sort of stuff, but making squishies and cutting out foam is just one for me. So today I've made two bread inspired squishies. I really, really like them. The two little characters that I'm really loving drawing at the moment. So I figured I would make them into squishy form. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do end up recreating them, then be sure to tag me on Instagram. I will try and repost you on my stories if I see it in time. If you post it on the grid, I'm more likely to see it because stories obviously have a 24 hour thing and then they go into like my filtered down folder on instagram and then i don't end up seeing it and then it's gone before i get around to it so yeah be sure to tag me like your grid rather than your stories because i do from time to time miss them and then i feel really bad yeah i'm just gonna get straight on into it so first of all to make your memory foam squishy you're obviously gonna need some memory foam um mine isn't actually memory foam it's just normal seat foam because the shop that i usually buy my memory foam from just provided me with the wrong thing it said it was memory foam i got home and then i realized it wasn't it's just a like regular foam so i mean if you can't get hold of memory foam don't worry too much normal foam will work just fine as i'm using here so what I did was I used a black sharpie pen and drew out a round kind of oval shape and then just cut all the way around the edges. As you can see here, I'm just smoothing out as I go along, just making it nice and round. The smoother you can get it, the better. I then just cut down the edges just so that it was kind of rounded on one side. I find taking the most foam off as much as possible to begin with works out the best. And then going in with smaller snips like here, just to smooth it out. You want to keep on going, keep on going, and then keep going like 10 times more than you think you have to, because the smoother you get this now, the better your squishy will be. I cannot like even express that enough like honestly if you think it's smooth you want to just keep on going until it's really 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 smooth so i cut off the back of mine because mine ended up being a little bit too thick for what i wanted once i had it down to the size that i was happy with i then smoothed it out a little bit more and rounded off of those cut edges i like to round all of my edges just because i think it looks a lot sleeker a lot smoother it's not necessary if you don't want to but i just like it that way so i went in and smoothed all my edges down what i did was i shoved my memory foam kind of rounded baguette shape onto a um, wooden barbecue skewer this is a technique that i always use so that i'm able to paint both the front and back because otherwise if i didn't have it you know suspending i would need to like paint one side then flip it over then wait for that to dry so i find putting on a barbecue skewer and then painting the paint on all the sides at once speeds this process up I do use a fan to um, speed it up, but to be honest, it still takes absolutely forever to dry because you're going to need a lot of layers. So as you can see, that is layer number one. Whilst that layer is drying, I moved on to my second bread squishy. So I just took a small piece of foam again. This is around about three quarters of an inch. Um, I drew out my design on that using a sharpie pen and again cut out the um, rough shape and then went back in and smoothed it out, rounded off the edges etc and then painted on the first layer of paint. So 
So if like me your foam isn't memory foam, the way you're going to get around making it slow rising is by adding layers of paint. This is what two layers of paint looks like, still got loads of holes in it. The trick is to cover up all of those air holes. I mixed this colour up by accident, it was totally the wrong colour but it didn't matter because I knew I was going to be needing more layers on afterwards. So this is me putting on the third layer and then by the time I got to the fourth layer, kind of like half of the air holes had covered up as you can see here. I went back in with loads more layers of paint and it ended up taking seven layers in total and that needed drying time in between each layer as well so it was like put one layer on let it dry put another layer on let it dry until i built it up to this where all the air holes had completely closed over and it was nice and shiny i then removed them from the um like barbecue skewers and then just filled in those holes using some tulip slick paint i find this paint works the best either this or the puffy paint for sealing up holes or like rips or something in squishies so i would recommend using that then painting over it in the same color that you painted the um like base so once that was done i then just needed to paint on my design so i mixed a slightly lighter brown kind of shade and painted the inside of the toast just so that the darker brown acted like the bread crust kind of thing and then i painted on the details on the baguette as well i made three little slits down on his belly just using a nail art brush to paint that on i find nail art brushes really really good for painting squishies painting on small details so that's what i did there To paint the face on I used this Scribbles fabric paint, this is in the colour Shiny Hot Chocolate. I used to use this all the time but stopped but actually I don't know why I stopped and I need to get another one of these because this turned out so nice. So I used this along with a dotting tool to paint the face on, starting with the eyes and then the open mouth in the middle that I usually like to do. I find when I put like that first line it looks like the little sneaky grassy face on that, so cute. But I like to turn my faces into like cute little happy open mouth faces like I do on everything. So I do that like half semi circle kind of shape and then I go back in once all of that black or like dark brown as I used here has completely dried so that I'm able to do the next layer so as you can see painting on the same face on the toast left that to dry and now I'm able to go back in with a nail art brush and paint on the tongue and the um, blush either side of the eyes in the exact same color I also went back in with the dot and tool using some white puffy paint just to add a highlight to the eyes. This again is just something I like to do to add a little bit of extra detail. I then left that dry and once that was done my squishies were then complete. I do kind of think that I'm going to make them some packaging, like really cute packaging. I might do it on another video, I don't know, maybe I'll do a video on squishy packaging, who would like to see that? So yeah. This is how my squishies have turned out, the toast and the baguette, I absolutely love them, I love all the details as well, like the blacks are kind of plain but they still work out really nice, the holes have covered nicely and the squishiness of them is 10 out of 10, they are so soft and airy, they are nice and slow, for, especially for mini squishies anyway, and yeah, really really happy with them, they're not like major, major kind of like satisfying when squishing because they are quite thin but I think they're the best that they're ever going to get for the squishy of their size so yeah I'm really really happy with them like look at that oh love that this is how the toast squishes just you know as a regular toast from the side view just like any other toast squishy you would kind of expect and the baguette squish is just the same if not a little bit better because he is a little bit chunkier and yeah I'll leave you right there <laughs> So that is the end of today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Let me know which one of these two is your favourite. I love them both. Like honestly, I think I might love the baguette just a tiny bit more. I'm so sorry, toast. Um, just because I've been doing the toast for a couple of years now. Um, and the baguette obviously is inspired by um, the Samika Grashi baguette from like that bread bakery series. I just love it. I have the mini plush, which, um, oh, who was it? It was Miss Kitty's Attic, is that what it's called? 
is that what her Instagram is called? I don't know. I'll leave her Instagram down below. She's amazing. She actually got it for me through a friend um, ages and ages and ages ago when I couldn't get it in the UK. So yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for watching today. For everyone who goes and pledges on my Kickstarter or just checks out or just anything, thank you so much for all the love and all the support. And hopefully I will be back tomorrow for another video. So yeah, I'll see you very soon for that. Bye. <laughs>